So what you just add water? Under all you do is add water. Up under the four. Put it under the four. Oh, so the steam will come the steam up. Steam is gonna make them tender than what they you are. You didn't tell me that when I was cooking my steak. <laughs> when I was did, I did a you whole YouTube video and left out. That's the, the that's ancient the Chinese secret. secret. That's the secret right there. When you take them out, when that water get hot, you take them out. Oh, you don't need no knife. Oh, you just take your fork and cut it with a fork. What you think, nephew? I believe. Right. Because the steam, the steam is what make them tender. All right. Well. When I, I when I did my video, and then you called me and criticized me until I left out of step, how the hell I'm, gonna I'm not going to leave out of step when you didn't tell me? I did tell you. You, you didn't tell me about putting the water under the aluminum foil. That's what this is the first did. I ever heard that. That's the last thing and he did. know that because he, that's why he just said, uh, let me show you the secret. Kill nobody that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna call me and criticize me making comments on my video about he screwed that up. Well, I shared my secret You shared 95% of the secret. <laughs> when that steam come out from under that, that it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be as We gonna see. Yeah, you, gonna, you can eat them, you can eat them with a I don't I don't put knives out with my steaks. The thing I put out, same thing with a grill. The only thing I put out with my steaks see, is a is a, a grill can you put it in a now, I, and then with oil and then still put water up under the oil. Most likely. Now, I bet, well, on a grill, it's going to absorb it like in 10 seconds. Now, on that, that grill. In the oven, in the oven it won't because it's low temperature and it's in a contain. And I don't on the grill, it's going to summer. I yeah. cook my steaks on summer. Imagine, I think it's not staying that long in there. Try that one right there. What, right here? Mm -hmm. Just cut it up. Just take the fork and cut it. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a step he left out on me, y'all. Family on my mother's side, so to speak, we get together on a Zoom call. And during the Zoom call last week, we discussed cooking. My brother just said he was late to the Zoom call because he had just pulled his steak out of the oven. And I'm like, pull your steak out of the oven? He's like, yeah, that's the best, most tender steak there is. So I was telling him about my videos and he watches them. He said, yeah, I see the way you do videos, but I don't care for store-bought. I don't care for restaurant steaks and I don't care for steaks that take less than 10 minutes. I'm like, hmm, elaborate. So actually I called him a couple of days later and he told me about his technique for cooking a uh, steak in the oven. And it's relatively simple. He simply puts in aluminum foil in the bottom of his, in the bottom of a roasting pan. And he's tried to bring the aluminum foil up toward the top. So I'm going to use two pieces of aluminum foil. And the reason he does that, he says when he puts the lid on the, uh, the ribeye, he wants that aluminum foil to kind of come up and make contact to kind of make a complete seal that aluminum foil. Now, the next thing he told me to do is take some vinegar. And I keep vinegar in this little spray bottle. And he said, spray the aluminum foil. Coat it well with vinegar. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've heard it before, but I've never used vinegar as a uh, uh, meat tenderizer. So when I looked it up, it did confirm that vinegar is a meat tenderizer. It's not the best, but it's good. Now, if you're questioning, will you taste vinegar in your steak? All my research and my brother says no. When you cook it, just like with anything else like wine or alcohol, it cooks the taste. There will be no aftertaste of that particular chemical or item or liquor in your uh, food. So there will be no vinegar taste. The next thing my brother does, and I find this unique, but I like it because I've done it myself before. He takes his seasoning and he coats the bottom of the aluminum foil instead of coating the bottom of the steak because the steak is going to be laying in, the, in your seasoning and simmering. He uses salt, pepper. I already have my oven set 
at 200 degrees. And this is a key component to this steak coming out with uh, tender. 200 degrees is what they consider simmer. He kept telling me, make sure you put your stove on simmer. Well, my stove doesn't have a setting that says simmer. So when I looked it up, simmer is between like 190 degrees, 195 degrees, and 215 degrees. So 200 degrees is perfect. So I already got the oven set at 200 degrees. All right, I got my seasoning on the bottom. Now, we're going to simply take the steak, unseasoned, half pound, inch, a half an inch thick steak. We're going to lay it right in the middle of that aluminum foil. Now, we're going to take our salt. We're going to take our pepper. Season that liberally. Now, I'm in Louisiana. Wouldn't be me if I didn't use just a tidbit. Sorry about this, big brother. He told me to stick to the recipe, but I'm going to put just a little bit of heat on the top of this steak. And I'm going to sprinkle it around the edges so it'll pick up in that juice. And fam, that's it. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a step he left out on me, y'all. They're pretty good. Tender, seasoned well. All right. You like the flavor? Yeah, seasoned really well.